All right, so Sports Illustrated is out, and you know, usually they'll have a cover girl on their Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. This year they have four. Four of them. Four. Okay, they have Kim Kardashian, you may know her. They oh, have Sierra and Model. Sierra looks great. Yes. Yeah. And Model y Yumi Nu. Uh huh. They, who all look beautiful. And then, and one stood out to us, May Musk. That's Elon Musk's mom, as you guys may know. She's 74 mm -hmm. years old. She looks incredible. Mm -hmm. And she talks about in this article, she was a single mom to Elon mm -hmm. for most of her life. Yes, this is her quote. She says, when I got divorced, I knew I needed to step it up. So I taught nutrition at a college. I modeled, built my dietitian practice all over Canada. Sundays were for groceries and laundry, and that meant no social life. I couldn't even go on a date because I was afraid we'd have to split the mm. bill, and then I couldn't feed my kids. That's what you have to do to survive. So, I mean, hats off to single moms. Yes. As, you know, it's so funny because there are so many women who are working two and three jobs yes. just trying to put the basics on. You know, you talk about parenting and all the things you want to do. If you are working all the time... Yes. Because you have to, because there are there are needs yes. and that you have to put food on the table. And I was talking to a friend of mine who was describing his upbringing and his mom worked three jobs. And he said, well, she wasn't there. I said, but she was there. She was there as much as she could yes. be there yes. because she was constantly sprinting around. But there are a lot of women who get stretched so thin, yes. no matter you know, what kind of background you're from because you're trying to do everything and you don't have any time mm -hmm. that's just for yeah. you. You yes. can't kind of find that place that's yeah. just for you. Yeah, it's interesting because it's like, like you said, she's not there, but guess what she was doing? She was working yes. so that she could feed you. Yes. You know, she was working so that she could take care of you. I mean, I know your mom worked yeah. your whole life. Do you resonate with this at all for yeah. you? Yeah, I mean, I think my mom worked and, I, you know, again, like, all moms work. Whenever yeah. I, whenever I'm not yes. at work and I'm at home, I yes. realize how much harder I'm yes. working. Yes. But I don't think the, the the guilt piece is there. But I do think there is something about um, trying to carve out time that's your time because I think we, we get lost in everything. It's yeah. like everybody's needs have to be met. The kids' needs have to be met. Do you, you and know. you feel like that's what yeah, you're? I think sometimes. And I think you know, speaking on behalf, and I know that Elon Musk's mom wasn't an older mom, but as an older mom, I think there are a lot of other beautiful parts and challenges too. I see all the good parts about being an older mom. Yeah. Like I'm in my own skin. I know yes. who I am. Yes. I'm a, I've got much more patience and love and all that stuff. But along with that also comes the fact that you're an older mother and you can't help it. Sometimes people will come up and say, wait, you're, you're their mother. Somebody sa says that. Said yeah. That to you? And it gives you like this pause for a second because, I, and your kids look around like, huh, what, yeah. what, are, you, what are you talking about? And it's a tough thing to do. And I remembered thinking, like, why does that bother me? Like, I'm not embarrassed mm -mm. to be my... I'm happy I'm my age. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect storm of my life. Mm -hmm. Two kids, mm -hmm. this time, this job, like, everything. Like, someone was saying, it gets greater later. It does get yes. greater later. But in between, there are these moments that you feel an ouch. Yes. And I just... What did you realize, like, when some... You know, because at first, you're like, gosh, that hurt my feelings. Yeah. But it wasn't even the person, right? It wasn't. It had nothing to do with whether or not she thought I was, you know, too old to be her mother or whatever. It was... I think I was thinking, like, one of the scary parts about being an older mom is wondering how much time you have. Like, yeah. that is a big thought yeah. and, and worry. And you wonder, like, you do the math a lot. And that's something I don't like doing because yeah. it's it's scary. I don't want to avoid it and ignore it. But something, like, magical happened. My mom came to visit me, mm -hmm. and I looked at her, and I said, at least 30 years more. Yes, yes. At least. Yes. That's, that's 35 for Haley. <laughs> that's 33 for her. But that makes me feel like very full. Yeah. I also just have to say, there are so many women that I know mm -hmm. who think, gosh, like, when is my time? Yes. When am I going to have? Somebody yes. said to me, you know how lucky you are to be yeah. 40 and have three babies. Yeah. And I said, yes, I do. Yeah. I don't take yeah. it for granted. Yeah. But let me tell you about the woman I sit next to mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. And guess what? She got her babies right on time. <laughs> Right on time. And by the way, can I just say something? <laughs> if you're wondering, like, when is your time? I remember I was feeling like your friend, and yes. I was uh, yes. years older than her. Yes. And I remember looking up and seeing Sandra Bullock 
talk about her adoption on screen. And I, you know what I did? I Googled, how old is Sandra Bullock? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, she's, she's my age. And she's delightful and vibrant and full of everything. And I thought to myself, you don't know when your moment is happening. You don't know. We just had a lady on the plaza yes. who would just graduated college. Yes. She had to be in her late 60s or something. Like, you don't know when your moment's coming. But when your moment's there... You take it. Yes. Because my dad passed when I was in my, um, you know, very early 20s. So I got him for 20 years. That was a beautiful 20-year period. Yeah. And I got that. Yeah. He was a young, you know, he passed away in his 50s just suddenly. But so I got that time. Yeah. So you take your time. You build foundation. You build love. Yes. You fill it up. And you also never say it's too late no, for me. No, because it's or not. I don't deserve I it. I don't deserve it. Yeah. Yes. You don't. You. And, but you know what else is so interesting? When mm. you said that somebody comes up to you yeah. and would say, like, you're, I look at yeah. you. Like, you're a teenager. Yeah, yeah. I know it's weird, <laughs> yeah. but, like, I don't even... I actually don't know Think, your exact age, yeah, yeah. but that's because I'm terrible yeah, at birthdays. Yeah. <laughs> but I look at you as, like, a vibrant light yeah. that's ageless. Oh. Like, I look at you as, like, you're not... You're down there with yeah, your kids yeah, playing the yeah, same way yeah, I am. My yeah. back is out, okay? <laughs> I can't get on the ground without. So it's like... that To me, it's like age is such a weird, subjective thing. And I think I, both you and I talk about... It's like... Like, spirit doesn't age. No. Your spirit yes. doesn't Yes, and age. I think I see you yeah. that way. Like, I see you as your little teenage self <laughs> starting the wave and the bleachers. Like, not afraid, yeah. even if you yeah. are deep inside. Yeah. Like, you were yourself, yeah. even if it felt... I yes. don't know. I, and that's weird. No, it's not. I know it's this like, is, this is the deep, best. I this see is... you as a teenager. I see you as a young mm. kid with a cowboy hat because you were embarrassed <laughs> by your hair, hair. Yeah, starting a wave. <laughs> Did, did you, you start the wave? That's you know I did. That yes, was my whole game. You're a cheerleader. Oh my gosh. Well, All right, so Sports, Sports Illustrated <laughs> will be on stands on May 19th.